You wear a tool belt most days. Some days you don't. Even when you're wearing a tool belt, you might have some tools that you want to carry around, you want to have nearby, but you don't actually want to have on your belt. That's where the Diamondback Go Bag shines. <laughs> the Diamondback go bag. I've kind of got it set up here as a mixture of trim carpentry and electrician's tools in here because those are two of the best places where we see this uh, having application. The go bag uh, has a zip pocket here on the front. You can use this if you use a notepad, uh, if you have a cut list you want to keep up with, a punch list, whatever it is. Uh, good place to store a notepad in here or pens and pencils, that kind of thing you want to kind of keep secure. On one end, we've got um, a pencil pocket, very much like what you would see on our tool belts. It's got a clip on it here where you can hang an extra tape, and then we've got spots for uh, knives or pencils, punches, that kinds of thing on the end here. On the other end, I've got a DB sack attached here right now because one of the things that you'll see with the go bag is you can build it out with all of the other Diamondback accessories to make it a little bit larger than what you see when you just get the go bag. Uh, but here I got a DB sack on the end. Underneath there, I've got a diamond skin grid. Uh, this is our diamond skin material. Uh, it's made where you can attach things to it, or you can use it uh, as a as a pocket uh, by itself. So you could put a tool in there like that, or you can use it just to attach something like a DB sack, so you can carry some extra fasteners in there. On the back, we've got another webbing strip where right now I've got this GK1. Pop that, pop this off so you can see just a webbing strip on here, another attachment area. Comes with a handle. Uh, you can also get a, um, we offer a one inch and a two inch shoulder strap. You can also get if you want to carry this over the shoulder. Uh, I got a couple of G hooks on here. Open that up. We have another strip across here where you could put uh, any kind of clip on products, jam a pencil in there, whatever you want. And then we get to the guts on the inside. Just to give you a relative size, uh, everybody knows how big that is. That's a M18 impact driver that fits down in there. What I've got in here again, to, uh, I mentioned earlier is like sort of a combination. I've got some screwdrivers that would be more electrician oriented, a torpedo, everybody's using that, a knife, everybody needs that. More carpentry oriented, I've got some uh, nail pulling pliers here. I've got a chisel. One thing I can tell you is it does, this bag does have a soft bottom. Uh, it's not going to scratch up anything if you set it down on it, uh, but it does stand up. Um, yeah, okay, it stands up. Um, the chisel and screwdriver holders in the back are raised enough so that when they catch here with a typical chisel or screwdriver, they won't hit the bottom you won't get a hot spot that's gonna uh, cut through the bottom of the bag it's made with this heavy duty diamond skin material on the inside you've got a range of sizes of slots i've got slots on the sides that uh, hold things like this pry bar or this torpedo i've got slots across the back for chisels uh, or uh, screwdrivers but also any kind of pliers you can just put down in there with one side of the handle in there and then across the front side we've got uh, two pockets here and then four down lower uh, check out our website for some pictures looking down into the bag to see exactly how it's all laid out but just to give you an idea of the size again uh, this guy fits down in here you can use this thing to carry around extra batteries you can use this thing to carry around uh, tools one of the most popular places i see this or actually two one is again with electricians carry it around on the site carry it around with you from spot to spot if you're checking outlets installing outlets you just need a few tools with you um, that you don't want to carry around in a belt the other area is going to be in trim or finish carpentry a lot of times you have the tools that you carry with you every day but they're tools that you may or may not need every day but you still want to have handy and close by or if you want to have a backup set of tools with you because hey, your buddy may steal your tape measure and then you're wandering around looking for it, you can have an extra one in here. Um, extra markers, extra pencils, that chalk box that you may or may not use, or maybe you've got one, but you know, 
you want to have a different color of chalk with you. So anytime you want a backup set of tools, or if there's a set of tools that's used for a particular job, say you are trimming out doors on a particular day and you have a certain set of tools, you have your scribe tool, you have uh, your glue bot, you have anything that you need to uh, do that one particular task and you're gonna be doing that repetitively around the job site, you can put those tools in here, carry it with you around the job site and maybe you don't want to wear a tool belt because you're in a partially finished space and there's a danger of damaging your surroundings, put it in the go bag. So that's the go bag, check it out.